could you speak a little bit more on, on, on fallow syndrome and maybe, you know, kind of what, there's different thoughts on that, whether it's going to be an issue or not. Um, I'm probably more in the camp of, I, I think we may have some issues. I think the long-term no-till, we have higher levels of soil microbes there. I don't think we're at as high a risk there, but there is definitely a lot of these fields that hardly got anything done or nothing done that guys are going to be an issue. Um, hopefully on the long-term no-till we don't, even though we didn't get some covers planted to late. Um, but there's a lot of areas that were drowned out. And when we get that high on moisture, the microbes, the populations decrease fast. Yeah, yeah. I would still recommend <clears throat> some pop-up. Yeah, the yeah. pop-up will definitely help a lot if you do have, I mean, it's hard to predict fallow syndrome. I mean, if you got a cover crop or a crop growing, it probably won't happen, but should have, I mean, the pop-up does so much good anyway that I just, I'll, on all out corn and small grain, I use pop-ups and split the end with stabilizer and try to use stream bars uh, to, to manage, you know, volatilization.